Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to have the opportunity to present our RSD mapping project, System Thinking, Design and Representation. My name is Xingyi Liu and under the guidance of Dr. Christine Wakta, I worked on the design of this map for the fourth year studio in undergrad. This project was developed over one quarter period. I welcome the opportunity to showcasing this work and thoughts. Dr. Wakta is the founder of multiple architectural, urban planning, and data science programs internationally. I've enjoyed working with her as a student and as professional as her assistant and collaborator in many ways. Our topic for this map is spatialization and memory mapping, an artistic calligraphic map method for reconstructing the city. This is the streets the process of Savannah train station in the digital age. It is a combination of history, memory, data science, and analytics to, en to engage the audience in an enriching and unique way. This poster is composed of su a succession of hand-drawn ideation diagrams for the train station alongside multiple contextual maps that tells a complete story by merging the tangible and intangible while cross-referencing the science of the place. The site information is communicated loosely through each map to allow each interaction to involve naturally its um, spatial context in a spatial context and a type of interest of the viewer. The creative process highlights the analytical thinking techniques and the freedom to be expanded by the interaction that happens. Hand drawings and digital editings are critical to this piece and the analytic style mediums helps emphasize the shifts from the past to the future to the present. The loose art and cat drawings create a duality that brings about interesting, con interesting contrast between the past and the future, with the present acting as the essential linkage. The work follows the principle of the urban draft of Deborah in 1956 and goes beyond Deborah's graphical hand drawings and combining, uh, combining painting and computer-generated models with interactive visuals to graphically tell the story of then through the lenses of now. The hand-generated drifting and memory-projected illustration is overlaid into digital computer-generated existing infrastructure to reconnect the social dynamic subsy subsystems with the city uh, system and realign the natural interdependencies that exist between them. The work reveals an intertwining system of networks, including traffic links, highway systems, human traces, and communication networks that makes up the complex urban system and can be visually deconstructed to better understand the various stages of urban development. The overlays of hand drawings onto geospatial data highlights a complex blend of styles from which a um, comprehensive design process emerged. The concepts involve using pictorial means to suggest, reflect, and invite the viewers to participate and be associated with a complex historical, cultural, or emotional experience that is directly linked to each participant's own development of what, it, what is perceived as a positive or negative with regard to their pleasing or displeasing emotional connection to the piece. The poster invites the audience to repiece together an <clears throat> intertwining, broad and often disrupted and deconstructed past and collage it together as if it's each individual's memory of the past. This poster aims to fill the gaps that exist between the iconic buildings that represent the landmark and essential elements of the city and the human traces that make the history of the city alive, and without which there will be no city. So again, there is some details of the diagrams besides the, the 3D structure when we created this design. So the work celebrated hand drawings as reference to digital models <clears throat> and an opportunity to showcase the beauty of architectural structures, spatial arrangement, and classical textures. The design concept aligns with systematic dis dissection of various layers of urban environments over time, though there's still some potential of refinement, I'm sure. The interaction stage um, 
consists of data collection, analysis, and context articulation into graphical representation to systematically establish the relationship between all components. In the initial design phase, the geographical tools are used to generate accurate scale references, north-south orientation, building density, civil land boundaries, natural features, and urban infrastructure. So in terms of the historical background context, this poster consists of a sub-map of the art galleries and museums in the city of Savannah, in Georgia, and also in the United States. The poster borrowed the sensation of hand drawings to indicate the reminiscence of the unprecedented fast-paced development of design fields, as digital tool increasingly evolves like the 3D printing and AI, our thinking strategies are changing following the renewing technologies, and so should design education, so that each decision in the lightweight, color saturation, hue, and shape is made specifically to achieve the best result of the imagery. And this is the hand-drawn scenes of the industrial and commercial devel development in the early stage of the historical development of Savannah. As here is the crime analysis map and traffic density distribution map. And we use GIS and multiple softwares and technologies to generate an analysis that. And here is a site plan marketed as orange, besides a power station which is renovated. And here you can see different traffic lengths showing you the traffic flow density. And also our one-way road marked as a darker more saturated blue color here. And we use different textures to mark different zonings. And also different saturations to mark the functions. Like the triangular one is the main train station, while others are um, corridors and also towers and pedestrian access. So we use um, three ways of uh, the grid system. And one interesting thing is that we borrowed the mathematical model of the tetrahedron and project it onto the ground because we believe that tetrahedron is a very interesting uh, mathematical model that allows more uh, flexibility into in terms of the form and also on, onto this design it allows more uh, possibility of diverse uses around uh, this project and also in the neighborhood. And this is the elevation view of the structure and a section where the tetrahedron is cut and also levels. And this shows um, different uh, ways of access the interior. And also we study the sun diagram of winter and summer. We took many notes on it. And thank you very much for listening to this presentation and I hope you enjoyed this project and this is um, our, uh, our contact information for you to, uh, to, to reach us out if you need and thank you uh, again.